you told me when, when we talked, you said Honeycomb was a crash landing. <laughs> emergency landing. Do you, do you landing. recall saying that? Oh, an emergency yeah, landing. I, but, you know, we, we so the actually, plane didn't crash, you landed. We were able to walk away. But you weren't. I'm still here, I have both legs. But you weren't totally satisfied with what you did. With well, Honeycomb. I'm never satisfied with anything, but, but um, uh, Honeycomb was a time boxed effort. Right. And now Ice Cream Sandwich is coming, and it's, you're taking a really strong attitude towards design with this. I mean, you're not only revamping the phone OS and you're unifying tablets and phones, but you're also doing some more daring stuff like you guys have designed your own font. That's right. For this, called yep. Roboto. That's right. And a lot of people are very angry about that. <laughs> Do you guys know about the, con the Roboto controversy? It's a, actually like a, a font controversy, really. It's a, uh, <laughs> Been waiting all night to say that. Uh, no, but people have complained that it looks too much like Helvetica, that it's an ugly font, that it's got weird edges. And you've actually written some posts about this on Google Plus talking that's about right, it. That's right, that's right. You're very upset that people would diss your font. Um, Can you talk about that at all? Nobody Can you tell likes me how that it makes when, you feel? Yeah, when, when, when they call your children ugly, nobody likes that. That's, that's just Sadistic nice. people yeah. might like it. People who have dungeons, for <laughs> yeah. instance. Perhaps. I gotta stop. I don't know. I don't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, but, no, I'm gonna sit but, over but, at this but, end but, of the couch, actually. <laughs> you're about to go all the way down. Uh, but John Gruber from Daring Fireball, he wrote some, <clears throat> he was pretty angry about it. Some, some, some typography nerds have written yeah, kind of scathing Yeah, there's kind of two critiques. different types of critiques of, of, of uh, uh, Roboto. Um, one of which um, I totally get, which is what we set out to do, which was kind of provoke some discussion in the and the typographic community about you know some of the choices we made right we we knew that traditional choices for grotesque weren't going to work um, they weren't going to have quite the legibility we wanted but we wanted something that had a little bit of that geometric purity right so we did some we did some stuff that was uh, you know a little bit design forward and you know that is part of the discussion if you can't tell the difference between Roboto and Helvetica I don't think you're part of that discussion really well what about but what about the attacks that it's, it's just like a bad font, that it just isn't d designed well. Does that, do you well, feel like that's a valid argument to make I about? don't, I don't. And actually that, that is the, the conversation we want to engage in, right? I mean, when sans serifs were originally invented, the first designs, they were called grotesque as an insult because people thought, oh my God, this is like a horrible mishmash of these you know, styles that just don't right. match. They're like, how can I read this without the things hanging off? <laughs> That's right, it's not pointy enough. I, I don't happening? get it. What is this? No, no, it's literally, it's, um, it, it, it was an insult that says, these letters are so crude, they had to have been drawn by a caveman living in a cave, right? And that's gr grotesque. That's how a lot of people feel about Roboto. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But you disagree. A cave obviously. robot. Fun, fundamentally. Actually. I, I actually think it's a good looking font. I think it's great. You did this at Palm. I don't know if you guys know, you know, he basically designed all of WebOS. Well, not all of it, but you're the... By myself. You're the father. <laughs> you're the godfather of WebOS. <laughs> does it pain you to see the story of WebOS? I don't want to get sidetracked, but... Yeah, does it that does. Hurt you? It does. Yeah. I think it, now every, it, every, uh, everything that you work on that doesn't succeed the way you want it to, you know, it's sad when it, when it doesn't succeed. But people are ripping off cards everywhere, so <laughs> kind of winning a little bit. Uh, but good ideas tend to survive. But I think it's cool that you guys are doing something where you're like, hey, we're gonna do, we're gonna just create a font out of nothing because well, we think it'd important. be better. I mean, for it, the no, it, it it is really important to have good, good font choices, good typography, um, underpinning what you're trying to do. And so it's important for WebOS. We did a whole suite of custom fonts at Danger. Yeah. Um, because I mean the these mobile devices, right? These interactive displays, they're a different type of uh, font challenge. Right, so, you know, like, like I talk about uh, ad nauseum for Roboto. I mean, if you really, really care and you're really a big font geek, read the posts. I'll, I'll go on for pages and pages, but there were, there were really unique problems, right? We couldn't just take something off the shelf.